Alright, it's only me. Gonna watch for your den, Doug. It's only me. Uh, I can't have no been on for a, a wee while doing anything talking about the music, but I've been a bit busy the past couple of weeks and coming on and talking about music has been doing the bottom of the list, but the day we've got the day, sorry, the Doug's here with me the day helping. What'd you say? What'd you say? Do you like motorhead? Motorhead. <laughs> Anywho. Yeah, I've got some stuff here today that, that's quite interesting. Can you kind of come on and open all the music you get live, but when now and again there's something interesting comes out that you've been looking forward to for a while. And uh, it's that first look, Ken, when you're taking the the cellophane off to see what's inside. Go on and show you now I'm trying to talk here. Try talking to my motorhead. Right. Like, that's what happens when you're doing live things. We animals. <coughs> Anywho, um, these came out today. It's um, these are the the two disc editions of the the Motorhead seventy nine stuff that's coming in. There's there's two box sets. Uh, is, it, is it one box set? I don't know. It's, it's either one or two box sets that they've been bringing out this year for the the fortieth anniversary of nineteen seventy nine, which is when kind of Motorhead kind of broke out, broke big. So they've broke. Um, all this stuff, it's like vinyl albums, I think it's like 200 quid. I can't be paying that kind of money uh, for for a big box set like that. When there's only a couple, <laughs> shut up, you! When there's only a couple of things that I'm really interested in, I'm trying to talk to you. You're getting shot the next time! Uh, so, anywho, um, I'm going to open these. Got to shut up! <laughs> he's, uh, he's at it. But anyhow, that, that box set, the pick me off. That box set we're talking about. Maybe get it later on if it if it's if it's uh, the right price. I mean I am no fear to buy motorhead box set because I've got the hang me up there, the, the Stone Stone Death Forever, which is a, a really excellent motorhead box set. Right, could you could you go away the new while I'm talking about motorhead? Do you know anything? About Motorhead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, go away you go. Right, go now. You, you're spoiling my video. <laughs> Aye, woof, woof, woof. Right, only how moving on. Right, back to talking about Motorhead. Uh, <laughs> shut up! 1979. <laughs> 1979, uh, Motorhead brought out two albums, one called Overkill. Which arguably the best Motorhead album ever, and uh, one after it, Bomber, which is kind of nearly as good. But again, two excellent albums. Um, but instead of buying the box set, the folk that were doing it been good enough to bring them <coughs> those two disc editions with special bonus content. Shut up! <laughs> um, so we'll look at Overkill first. Uh, it comes out with. The cellophane and that on it. Uh, there's Richard says, Woof to you too, Master Dog. Bloody noisy git. Uh, nice wee sticker on there. On the cellophane, hopefully that'll peel off nice because I like to take them stickers off and then put them on Yona. Uh, uh, that, Ken, that's uh, the Motorhead uh, War Pig Snaggle Tooth, whatever you call it, with the exploding heat. Uh, but the, the great. Uh, Joe Patagno or whatever his name is that draws the, the pictures. Uh, th this one with the, the double disc. See, th this is what I was interested in. It brought over Kill out a few times. I bought it a couple of times. But this one, the fun, some tapes here. It's, it's live tapes for 1979. Uh, Motorhead Live at, um, what's that, Aylesbury Friars. 31st of March 1970. This is what broke me into buying this. I mean, I wouldn't have bought it otherwise. I'm not, I can't, I've am not. I've heard a lot of it. I've heard the wee tiny clips so when you can. It, it's, the sound quality doesn't sound the best, but we're talking about the Lemmy, Fast Eddie, Filthy Animal Taylor version of Motorhead. The, can, the, the three of the guys are dead now. So, Ken, if you're bringing out anything with the three guys 
I'm in because that that's motorhead. Um, I'll, I'll open this and see what we've got on the inside. Bearing in mind I'm trying to do it with one horn and I've got a dog jumping about and woofing. Shut up dog! Hey, hey, hey. You could be giving me a horn. See this is lying there. Aww. 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 Aye, very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, hang on a minute. Hey, hey, hey. Try to get it half a foot ripping my sticker. See, they brought them in these nice wee book formats here. <coughs> so, what we got here? First page is a. Uh, that's not very good light there, but that's on. Motorhead 79, Ken. Mm. Picture of the artwork. I'll just st stick it on the dog's bum here. <laughs> uh, some nice pictures and that. And then I'm assuming <laughs> this is just like a kind of recap of the. Usual motorhead <laughs> stories, nice wee quotes for Lemmy and that. Lemmy, one of the greatest. Look at that. Hey, 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 you don't need the lyrics, you should can all the words to all these songs anyway. And the CDs here in nice wee slipcase sleeves. I'm actually looking forward to hearing that one. Um, although, Ken, I mean, like, that's a lot of the stuff for the, the early Motorhead album, Ken, the 1977 Chiswick Motorhead album. Quinn, do you mind? Uh, mixed in with a lot of overkill stuff, right? Moving on. I know, I know, Sandy, the the dog is uh, no interested in listening. Just walking our dearies away now. Thank God, right? Are we going down the stair, right? I can please to talk about this now. This is bomber. Uh, bombers are slightly mayor. Uh, see, the thing about bomber is it comes in between overkill and ace of spades, which can. Anybody that's been into Motorhead for for a long, long time, I'm not talking about the, the Johnny Come Lately guys that maybe started listening the past 20 years, because don't get me wrong, Motorhead have done some pretty good albums the past 20 years. Um, I wouldn't take that away from them. But when you're talking about prime time Motorhead, the best, you, you're talking about Overkill and the Ace of Spades album. Ken, either or, you could flip flip a coin and you'd be right, Ken. There's no wrong answer to it, but it probably is one of the two records, which is a definitive Motorhead album. The problem for Bomber is it comes right in between the two albums and it's that way, Ken, folk talk about Overkill, they talk about Ace of Spades. Bomber kind of gets lost in the shuffle, but it, it's a really brilliant album. We are really brilliant covers. See, the, the covers here, it's a, like a World War Two Bomber kind of stickers out of the front here. Yeah, I'll take that as the other thing off, shall we? Um, it's a World War Two bomber. We um, the guys in the barn sitting inside it. There we go. A nice wee reproduction here. We again the wee book. See, there's Lemmy's flying it, and then no, Lemmy's doing the gun. Uh, Fast Eddie Clark's flying it, and then Phil, filthy Annabel Taylor doing the bottom. You know, I'm thinking this is probably just much the same as Overkill but again they've fun a concert here live at Le Mans uh, which is in France the 3rd of November 1979 so it's in a live show which is about again, 6 or 7 months after their one still got a lot of the, the Overkill stuff in the set but what I'm looking forward to about this one is there's a, a real load of Bomber stuff and Bombers they only played the stuff on the Bomber tour and then a lot of it got dropped Again, songs like All the Aces, and uh, hang on, I'm trying to focus, Lawman, <clears throat> Ken Sharpshooter, uh, Poison, all, all these songs hardly ever got played live at all. So I'm looking forward to hearing this one, this one again, it's just the, the same kind of thing. See, I'm, I'm assuming if you bought the the £200 bulk set, which would have been nice, Ken, and if, uh, if there was any of the three of them still alive, I wouldn't have begrudged paying them it. If they were, again, 
if, if it was F F Lemmy, Phil or Fast Eddie that was making some money, but I don't know who gets the money now after the the Motorhead catalogue. See, there's uh, old reproductions of old pictures and stuff. Uh, gig adverts. And there we go. So I'm a wait to listen to these. I'm quite, I'm quite looking forward to it. I do like a bit of the old classic Motorhead. Ken Motorhead's one of the things. Uh, Lemmy was kind of in charge of the, the quality control. And he, he did have a kind of fear of old understanding of what people liked and, and what the folks that listened to him wanted to hear. So you always go at... Uh, Ken, Motorhead was I was Motorhead. There wasn't uh, any stupidness. He didn't try and change... Kenny didn't go grunge or whatever. Hey, I'm, I'm looking forward to this because I, I do miss Motorhead. It's uh, one of my favourite bands ever. But anyway, thank God that dog's away and gain us all a bit of peace. Uh, thanks for watching. Pick these up if you can get a hold of them. Uh, you kind of go wrong with the albums, but I'm pretty sure the concerts will be good as well. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do a buyer's guide maybe tomorrow or something. I don't even know what button I'm going to pick. Um, I think of something. Hey, I'll see you yesterday. Ta-ta.